Last March, SMU thought they'd be making their first appearance in the NCAA tournament in 21 years. The Mustangs went into the American Championship ranked in the top 25, but an early loss to Houston played a major role in a trip to the NIT. This past Saturday, the Mustangs needed a little motivation against the Cougs, and I guess you could say a convincing 80-59 to win was a little payback from the last time these two teams met. After a few bumps in the road against some of the nation's top teams in the early season non-conference schedule, the Mustangs have won 14 of their last 15 and still have high hopes to make their NCAA dreams a reality this season. You know, we got good guys that care about the game, care about each other, We're kind of family. Some of our older players um, are really good role models. You know, they come to practice every day with a great attitude. I'm not the easiest guy to play for, um, but they accept me and allow me to coach them. Uh, I have a great staff that I think the kids respect. But you want to have an atmosphere every day where kids know you care and want them to be better, and that's, that's something that I think, you know, we've tried to do. The program's turnaround under Brown has created an atmosphere that makes guys want to come to practice. But the team's success and a renovated home floor makes for some serious magic at Moody Coliseum. Uh, it gets crazy in there. It's, it's loud. Uh, I like it because it's a small gym. And, you know, it's, it's really intimate. I feel like the fans are right there next to you, and it, it really gets crazy. But the thing that excites me most about Moody is the enthusiasm of the student body. They haven't had a lot to cheer about. Um, in terms of basketball for a long time and they come every game you know behind us a hundred percent and it's made a, a great home court advantage and that's that's something that you really need in a conference like we're playing in. Our first home game in Moody after it was renovated uh, UConn came and played us and it was oh my gosh I had I had chills it was so loud in there I'd never been a part of anything like that. SMU has the players and the home court atmosphere to be one of the best programs in the country. So I asked Coach Brown, what's next for the Mustangs? Tomorrow's practice. <laughs> you know, I don't look too far ahead. I, I think the, the thing that we got to work on is getting better. Uh, we had a chance to be great last year and, you know, acted silly in some important games. So. What's next for us is to try to win a national championship. That's our goal. When we go in to recruit, that's what we tell our kids. Um, and I think we're going in the right direction, but there's so many quality programs out there that um, the next step is for us to be consistent every single night. In his third year at SMU, Larry Brown has already taken the Mustangs to the next level and hopes that they'll rank amongst the most elite teams in college basketball in years to come. I hope people just recognize SMU as a great school in a great city and a great conference with a chance to win a national championship. But to really get to the next level, the Mustangs just have to win. We want to win a championship, but, but like I said, we don't want to look past anybody. It's one game at a time. Taking that one game at a time approach has the Mustangs at 7-1 in conference play right now and they'll take on both Florida schools this coming week in their quest for a possible American championship, but also looking to win out in hopes of an NCAA run they were looking for last year. For all the latest basketball information, you can always head to our Facebook page or follow our basketball handle on Twitter. That's all we have here today on The Rise. As always, thanks for tuning in. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Outen.